After over half a month since SpaceX submitted the risk report for the Starship launch to the FAA, recently, on September 8th, they confirmed that the Federal Regulatory Agency completed its review of the investigation report regarding SpaceX's incident. This report includes an analysis of the underlying cases that led to the Starship flight explosion in April and the corrective actions that SpaceX had to implement to mitigate the risk of a recurrence. The FAA said the report itself will not be released because it contains proprietary and export-controlled information. This is highly encouraging news for SpaceX, as it seems that the FAA has expedited the review process for allowing Starship flights this time. The report outlines 63 specific corrective actions that SpaceX needs to undertake. These actions entail a redesign of the vehicle's hardware to prevent leaks and fires and a modification of the launch pad to boost its resilience, a change SpaceX appears to have made following the April 20th launch. These changes include steel reinforcements beneath the launch mount and a new water deluge system to quell the power of Starship's 33 Raptor engines. That said, these changes will likely undergo a subsequent FAA review. Other corrective measures stipulated in the report include the incorporation of additional reviews in the design process, increasing analysis and testing of safety-critical systems such as the Autonomous Flight Safety System, and added change control practices, i.e. the managing of system changes to keep things stable and to prevent unexpected issues. In response to this information from the FAA, SpaceX has displayed a notably positive attitude. They stated, We learned a tremendous amount about the vehicle and ground system during Starship's first flight test. This underscores the transparency and honesty within SpaceX's development program, as they acknowledge the FAA's reasonable investigation and their efforts to improve all aspects related to Starship. So, what's next? While the FAA's investigation into Starship has concluded, it doesn't necessarily mean an immediate green light for resuming Starship launches at Boca Chica. If SpaceX hopes to launch again, it must demonstrate that it's made the necessary fixes. And should the FAA eventually give the thumbs up, SpaceX has to stick to what it's promised in its application. As the FAA made crystal clear in its statement, SpaceX must implement all corrective actions that impact public safety and apply for and receive a license modification from the FAA that addresses all safety, environmental, and other applicable regulatory requirements prior to the next Starship launch. In the upcoming period, the FAA will continue to work with SpaceX on corrective actions. NASA and the NTSB are also involved as observers. According to NASA's perspective, they're eager for SpaceX to conduct more Starship test flights because the space agency relies on this vehicle as a human-rated lunar lander for astronauts going to the moon. This also serves as a motivation to shorten the waiting time for Starship launches, which is an advantage for its future launches. Following the FAA's statement on the evening of September 8, Elon Musk, CEO and founder of SpaceX, quickly posed a question to the FAA asking, what are the 63 corrective actions? In response to Elon's query and to provide the public with a transparent answer, the FAA promptly provided SpaceX with a consolidated list of all 63 conditions necessary for the launch within less than 24 hours. This information was shared through Elon Musk's official channel, along with a tweet that left us all excited. Congrats to SpaceX for completing and documenting the 57 items required by the FAA for Flight 2 of Starship. Worth noting that six of the 63 items refer to later flights. Indeed, this is quite astonishing. SpaceX has nearly fulfilled all of the FAA's requirements as outlined in the report. Kudos to the company for its tremendous effort and dedication over the past five months as they raced against time. Without a doubt, it can be said that the FAA is bound to be pleasantly shocked when they receive the results of SpaceX's remedial actions. Let's await the FAA's upcoming decisions. However, to be honest, the 63 corrective actions presented by the FAA do not appear to be a significant challenge for SpaceX, as they had already initiated upgrades to their rocket and launch pad immediately after the Starship launch and back in April. SpaceX has completed the redesign of the launch pad and resolved the issues on the rocket itself. The rocket's now positioned on the launch pad, ready for the next Starship flight. According to SpaceX, these fires eventually disrupted communication with most of the booster engines and, consequently, control of the vehicle. SpaceX has since implemented measures to mitigate leaks and enhance testing on both engine and booster hardware. Additionally, they've significantly expanded the Super Heavy's pre-existing fire suppression system to reduce the risk of future engine bay fires. 
Elon announced back in June that engineers intended to modify the fuel manifolds on the Raptor engines, which had been prone to leaks. The previous design allowed hot gas to seep through bolt holes used to attach the manifold to the engine. The new Raptor engines will feature an improved manifold design and technicians plan to apply greater torque to the bolts to address concerns about superheated gas leakage. One significant concern among the FAA's list of corrective actions pertains to the Autonomous Flight Safety System, or AFSS. Typically, this should swiftly result in the vehicle's breakup. Just moments before the mission was set to commence, the rocket's flight termination system was activated to destroy the vehicle before it deviated too far from its intended trajectory. Essentially, explosive material on the rocket detonated, rupturing its fuel tanks and leading to a catastrophic explosion. However, in this case, there was an approximately 40-second delay from when the system was initiated to when the rocket exploded. This time lag posed no safety issues with the rocket safely offshore, but it's an unacceptable lag for a system that's supposed to terminate flight almost immediately. SpaceX has made significant improvements in requalification efforts for the AFSS to enhance its reliability. Elon also stated that the issue could potentially be resolved by using longer detonating cords to ensure that the propellant tanks are rapidly and fully vented. It's worth noting that this system's crucial for public safety, as its primary purpose is to prevent any risks posed by a wayward rocket. Another noteworthy upgrade for the upcoming Starship flight tests is the introduction of a hot staging separation system. This system involves igniting the Starship second stage engines to propel it away from the Super Heavy booster. To facilitate this separation process, the Super Heavy booster has been equipped with a structural ring featuring vent holes to release exhaust gases from the upper stage engines during ignition. During the April launch, the thrust from the Super Heavy rocket's Raptor engines caused significant damage to the concrete beneath the launch pad, resulting in debris flying high in the air and sand and dust from the launch pad being scattered several miles away. SpaceX responded by incorporating a water-cooled steel flame deflector beneath the launch mount to prevent a recurrence of this issue. Notably, this new flame deflector endured two engine test firings of the Super Heavy booster last month without any problems. Elon had previously outlined several other upgrades set to debut on the upcoming Starship test flight. These upgrades include electric thrust vector controls designed to replace the hydraulic steering system, thereby reducing potential points of failure in that aspect, according to SpaceX. Musk also mentioned that engineers were reinforcing the shielding around each of the booster's 33 Raptor engines to safeguard them from potential explosions of neighboring engines, a precaution aimed at minimizing the risk of cascading failures. To sum things up, the conclusion of the FAA investigation marks a crucial moment for SpaceX's Starship program bringing them closer to the second orbital launch of the world's largest rocket. The improvements that SpaceX quickly made in a short period are numerous and commendable. But the question then is, what will be the FAA's next response? Please give your opinion below in the comments. And that's it for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comments down below. Your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you to watch. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you next time. Goodbye.